back my YouTube friends and family and happy Monday. This is Lindsay and I am back with more daily work from home job leads for you. I hope you had a fabulous weekend, but we are back on the grind. I think I have five different job leads in this video. Most of them are going to be non-phone based. I do have one that is paying up to $66,000 a year to basically just do customer service answering emails and some social media messages. That's over $1,200 a week. No college degree is needed. It is a, a well-known company. We are going to dive all into this. Just know the links to all the pages I share if you're interested in looking up the reviews on the company or putting that application in are always directly linked in the YouTube description box below this video. And I do just ask that if you enjoy any of these job leads, give this video a thumbs up like button. That does give me that direct feedback. And of course, share with all your friends and family if you know anybody who could benefit from all this so we can all work from home living our happiest, healthiest life. First up, we have have the company the arena group now the arena group only has 14 reviews on Glassdoor from past and current employees so please as always do your own research on any companies before giving them any personal information but they do have out of those 14 reviews a 3.3 star rating they are hiring a customer service representative now this one job is going to require a little bit of phone work I do believe the rest of them are non phone but they are looking for somebody to help in their membership department. They're looking for somebody to specifically work the weekend day shift, so Saturday through Wednesday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, having Thursday and Friday off. If you're outside of that time zone, you'll have to convert your hours to see if that works for you. They are paying about $32,000 a year. Now, you will get to do some non-phone pieces with this. They're looking for somebody to handle that customer service queue with incoming member calls and email so you will be responding to emails with this job as well you'll also be handling the live website chat and the text message queues so it's not all phone but basically what you're going to be doing is processing daily orders including new subscriptions upgrading their subscriptions helping them change their usernames service changes refunds and cancellations of the service you're going to process all credits and adjustments to the members account updating and documenting all systems of record with any information about about the customer interactions and outcomes that you had. Now they don't require any kind of a college degree, just somebody who can demonstrate customer service experience, someone who has great communication skills, someone who can be self-motivated and a multitasker. Now in today's world, most of the jobs are gonna require some kind of Microsoft Office familiarity so that you can work those systems like Word, Excel, Outlook, all of that. And this job is no different. Moving right along, we have a well-known financial app, Cash App. They are hiring a compliance appeals quality specialist. Now I did share this job a few weeks ago, so I don't know if they are still hiring or if they have relisted the job. They're looking for more people, but they are basically looking for somebody to join their appeals quality team to support the continued build out of their compliance program. So this is a 100% remote role. They are taking candidates living in the United States. It doesn't say that they have any state restrictions, but they're looking for somebody to conduct level two reviews of appeals cases by providing timely and encouraging feedback on the investigation steps and decision making. You're gonna provide constructive observations and valuable insight into trends and recommendations for process improvements. So this is like a quality control measure. You're going to ensure the quality standards are adhered to and follows with the internal policies. You'll provide actionable feedback to the specialist. So you're not actually doing the appeals. You are basically reviewing the specialist and reps that are handling the appeals, giving them any feedback. You'll participate in meetings as needed, responding to level two escalations and inquiries. This is going to require you to understand regulatory landscapes and compliance laws. And of course, you'll have to recommend suggestions to help define new process improvements within Cash App and the whole organization as itself. While they are not requiring any kind of college degree, they are looking for somebody who has three years experience in AML or BSA related work. 
preferably in some kind of a payment space. They want somebody who has experience with quality control, somebody who has investigative skills and can be familiar with public record research and database tools. Now, the best thing about Cash App is that they pay fairly high. Now, if you want to know what zone you're in, they do have their pay ranges broken down by zones. They do have a linked resource and that will tell you what state you live in is in what zone. But the lowest pay is $30.96 an hour with the highest pay being $50.43 an hour. Now, I don't know how familiar y'all are with my fitness pal. It is a fitness app where you can track your food and water intake and daily activity. I have personally used it myself. It's widely used and known in the fitness industry basically for tracking your food and calories and macros that you're eating for the day. They only have 47 reviews on Glassdoor, but they do have a high employee satisfaction rating of 4.2 out of 5 stars. They are hiring a customer happiness specialist. This is remote for the United States, and this is going to be completely non-phone. But they are basically looking for somebody to address any tech issues with the app or other customer concerns that the customers are having through email, social media posts, and app store reviews. So you're going to be responding and answering those emails. You're going to collect and communicate any user requests to help shape the future of my fitness pal. So if you get an email with people asking for different features to be programmed into the app, you have to escalate those up to the engineering team to see if those can be in future releases. You'll also escalate trending issues to the engineering team for any technical issues so that they can fix any bugs in the app. You'll provide feedback to your supervisors as needed collaborating internally with your team. Now they do have some core values that they want you to live by like be kind and care, live good health, champion change, and leave it better than you found it. But if this sounds like something you're interested in, they're looking for somebody who has three years or more customer service experience with the ability to type 60 words per minute. So you have to have those great writing skills because of course this is all completely non-phone. They do want somebody who has flexibility in their schedule and can work some evening and weekend hours and someone who can be a team player. Now, while the actual job description did not list the pay, just a reminder, I don't work for any of these companies. I simply share what I find online. So actual pay will need to be discussed at the time of the interview because I don't have any additional information outside of what is posted. But I did a little bit of research and people have previously worked as a customer happiness agent at my fitness pal and they have said their base salaries anywhere from $45,000 a year all the way up to $66,000 a year with additional bonuses and incentives bringing that pay anywhere to $52,000 a year to $78,000 a year. Now $66,000 a year is going to be a little over $1,200 a week. Moving right along, if fitness and fitness apps are not your thing, maybe healthcare is. The company Health Mark Group. They have 58 reviews on Glassdoor with a 4.3 and a 5 star rating. They are looking for an invoicing specialist. They're specifically looking for somebody to be responsible for invoicing of medical records according to state statutes and guidelines. So you'll accurately and efficiently invoice records, identify and correct any errors with invoices or records, be responsible for accounts receivable aging and accounts reconciliation, contributing ideas for any process improvements that you see fit. You'll design, document, and implement workflow procedures, checklists, and policies, reviewing the AP and AR for accuracy. Now they are not requiring any college degree, just great attention to detail, previous experience with AR or AP, somebody who has those Microsoft Office, Excel, Word, Outlook, all of those skills, great communication skills, and they do want somebody who has previous data entry experience. Pay for this position is going to be $16 an hour. And sticking within that healthcare genre, we have the company Grow Therapy. Now, Grow Therapy has 310 reviews from past and current employees with an employee satisfaction rating of 4.8 out of 5 stars. They are looking for a contact center manager. So this is where you're going to be more managing the staff, giving them feedback, coaching them, and monitoring them rather than doing the day-to-day -day grind of the call center yourself. So this may, from time to time, 
require you to take an escalated phone call from your reps. But I always say if you have spent a lot of time in the customer service industry, whether you've been a server or a cashier, if you have been growing and honing your customer service skill for years, maybe it's time for you to move into leadership and management and teach what you have learned to others. But with that being said, they're looking for somebody to evaluate their contact center performance through channels like call and chat and staffing optimizations. You're going to focus on improving their conversion and helping them invest for the right processes to run a high quality call center. So you're going to drive increased revenue through higher efficient and output of the content center teams. You'll manage and participate in those quality assurance processes, reviewing those calls, listening to them, giving any feedback and coaching your team leads and agents, making sure they are following procedures and giving that high quality customer service. You're going to direct manage team leads and senior agents to oversee them with their performance reviews and all of that. You'll handle basically reviews, time cards, the whole management of the staff, maintaining and reporting on metrics of overall agent level performance. Now pay for those positions anywhere from $78,875 a year, all the way up to $118,375 a year. Now they are looking for somebody who has several years of a professional experience working in a call center or customer service. They want somebody who's been responsible for generating revenue or closing sales or deals, somebody who has a great eye for detail and is comfortable looking at reports and analyzing user data and then recommending process improvements. You'll have strong opinions on different medias like text, call, chat, and email, and how those can serve the different channels. But again, no college degree is needed for this management position. All right, if you've made it to the end of this video, I owe you a huge thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for watching and supporting me. As always, please feel free to leave in the comments anything specific that you're looking for. I do read those and keep that in mind when I am out there searching for job leads to share. Don't forget, if you enjoyed any of these job leads, give this video a thumbs up like button. Of course, if you know anybody who could benefit, share with all your friends and family, and I'll be back really, really soon with more work from home job leads just for you.